Over the last few days, we have gotten a ton of new information regarding Kamen Rider Gotchard, so I wanted to take the opportunity to make this video just summarizing everything we have so far. I'm going to break the information into sections, starting with officially confirmed, and then going to might as well be confirmed, and then probably actual leaks, and then just rumors. So in the officially confirmed section, all we really have is the Kamen Rider Gotchard name and logo, and it comes from the Japanese trademark office, and that's the official source on it. So immediately moving along to the good stuff in the might as well be confirmed section, we have leaked images of Gotchard's base form suit, Gotchard's driver, Gotchard's link item cards, one of Gotchard's weapons. And so with this, the link item cards that we know of are Hopper 1, Steamliner, Pilots, obviously it's supposed to be pirates, and Mad Wheel. Now it's worth noting that these card images seem to be either prototype cards or maybe prop cards because they wouldn't work with the DX toy. All of the barcodes on them are exactly the same, uh, unless they have some other way of scanning them. And so Gotchard transforms using a combo of two cards that, from what we can see so far, seems like the their power level has to add up to 10. His base form, as you can probably tell by looking at it, is a combo of Hopper 1 and Steamliner. Although admittedly, this suit has mostly Grasshopper details on it. The only thing that really is a train-looking aspect of it is the armor on his chest. It really makes me think that he may be able to gain different forms by just switching the order of his cards around. Like say this form may be Hopper 1 in the right slot and Steamliner in the left slot, and he may be able to have a different form if he uses Steamliner in the right slot and Hopper 1 in the left slot. But that's just me speculating. Also in this picture, you can see that it looks like he has some sort of wrist brace item that may connect with his driver. It may be similar to how Kamara drives belt work. But yeah, we, right now we can only speculate on what the wrist brace is for. It could be a deck box that he draws the cards from. It could be that he places cards there for finisher attacks. Just looking at the images, it's pretty clear that he puts the cards in the belt for his transformations, because if you look closely at the full image, you can see the two cards actually come together and form the image of his helmet on the driver. And then we don't have an image of the form, unfortunately, but presumably Pirates and Mad Will will also make a form because they're power level 6 and power level 4, and of course makes 10. Now also in this uh, might as well be confirmed section, we have a toy list leak. And the reason that this is in this section is because on this toy list there were other items for the last quarter of Kamen Rider Geats that have since been released. Now this is the one where it's still using code words, where it just says the motif of the item instead of the actual name. For instance, it refers to the Tycoon Bujin Sword Buckle as the Tycoon Shogun Buckle. Now the first Gotchard related item on the list is presumably a Link item. All it says is Kamen Rider Gotchard, Mechanical Wind Type, and Water Ocean Type. Now, there's been some different translations of this item, actually, mostly around the mechanical wind aspect of it. Some people have translated it as that. Some people have just translated it as machine type. Some people have translated it as robot type. Now, as far as the other one goes, it's always either just, you know, water or water, ocean, something along those lines. It's pretty consistent. And now the more recent reveal of what Gotchard's cards actually are have kind of left people scratching their heads over what this could actually mean. Some people have speculated that this could be referring to Mad Will and Pirates because, yeah, Mad Will, it being a car, could be a machine type. Pirates could be a water type because, you know, pirates sail on the ocean. But for right now, we really don't know if Gotchard's cards are going to have elements like that. The only way we can really make that distinction is maybe the color. Pirates is blue, like water, and then Mad Wheel and Steamliner are both purple, and they're both machines. But if you look closely at the card, they do have a little icon on them that could be a type icon, and Mad Wheel and Steamliner do have the same that looks like a car, so a vehicle, but Pirates has just a human figure flexing, and then Hopper 1 just has a little bug, so like a insect category so the only three type distinctions that we really know of so far are bug humanoid and vehicle and as far as if there's anything special about like which direction the arrow on the card is pointing that means anything you know it would only be speculating right now but anyway the second item on the list is called the gotchard super trigger there's really no way of knowing what this could be 
This could be a weapon item. There's a lot of speculation that it's a power-up item, and I can get more into that aspect of it further into the rumors. Right now, I will say that it would be a little bit odd to have a power-up item this early on in the first quarter toy list, unless it's a power-up item in the same way that like the boost buckle has been used in Geats. I also think there's a possibility this could maybe be the driver because usually the driver is the second listed item on the first quarter toy listing. Now that being said, this listing in particular order could be somewhat jumbled to what the Japanese release would be. But typically the way the first quarter toy listing goes, you'll have the first link item that releases a little bit before the show. Uh, so like for Zero One, this was Flying Falcon. Uh, for Saber, it was Peter Pan. For Revice, it was the Decayed shark stamp I believe and then for uh, Geats I want to say it was the water buckle and that's what I'm assuming mechanical wind and water ocean is for Gotchard and now that we're seeing pirates and mad will being the first link items outside of his base form link items I'm guessing that's a good bet and then usually the second item on the list is the driver which it'll have the base form items with it. So they are not gonna have their own separate listing. And then you'll have the link items for the other alternate forms. And then like the rest of the writer's base kit, like his weapon and his motorcycle and things like that. So as far as the list usual order goes, Super Trigger is in the driver's spot. So I think it could be the driver. But every other rumor I'm seeing is saying that it's a power up item that works similarly to the hazard trigger from build. Moving on to the next section, which is is it's not as real looking but I think there's a good chance that this stuff is still a real leak. So allegedly there's been a video of the DX Gotchar driver leaked onto the Chinese video website Billy Billy. I unfortunately haven't seen the video all I have seen of it is this screenshot people are claiming is from that video. And then there's also like a bunch of information about other cards that were in the video or, or at least talked about in the video. So the new cards that we know about from the video information are a level 9 card called Comantis, which is based on a Prey Mantis, a level 1 card called Odori Ripa, which is based on a dancer, or specifically it's a type of Japanese folk dancer that wears like this particular type of uniform. But basically these two cards combine and create a new form called Odori Mantis, which is supposedly what we're seeing in the screenshot from the video. That's supposed to be Odori Mantis's helmet being displayed on the driver there. Other cards that we find out about from this leak are there's an ant card and a wrestler card, which are both power level five. And there is a skateboard card, which is power level eight and a Shogun card, which is power level two. And I've seen a little bit of speculation in the community that Odori Mantis is a little bit feminine, and that has led to rumors that one, Gotchard may be a female rider, or that Odori Mantis may be the base form combo for a female rider who just also uses the same driver as Gotchard. Which I imagine Gotchard probably will have a female rider as part of the main cast, because that has been a trend in the Rewa era, uh, the only season that hasn't really done that as Saber. And I believe in like the production notes for Geats, they've even given like a name to it now where it's like they have a main rider, a secondary rider, and then instead of a Tritary Rider, they have a Heroine Rider and a Rival Rider. But uh, one other thing that's in this section is there's been a poster who has kind of made a funny mock-up of some of Gotchard's weapon items and this is a little silly but stick with me here so got uh the arrow sword and which actually i think it's possible this may actually be this item because i could totally see this transforming into a sword and then the other weapon is this wrench gun which can apparently also turn into a sword and is also able to scan cards and then the last item on this list is what is supposedly the gotchard super trigger and a demonstration of how it's supposed to work in the the driver. And as silly as these mock-ups are, the same person posted these very detailed sketches of the Boost Mark 9 and Bujin Sword buckles before they were ever officially revealed. So it's very likely that they are a actual leaker who has real information. And that's kind of the only aspect of this that's really making me consider the Super Trigger to potentially be a power-up item instead of 
a code name for the driver. But I'll say again, it's kind of crazy for a power-up item to appear this early on in the show, unless it gets treated like the boost buckle. Although it'd also be weird for them to do something like that with the power system two years in a row, but there could be some aspect where maybe the way the boost buckle works made it easy to write around, and they just want to continue that. Now moving on to the just rumor section. Now this is the point where these rumors don't really have a lot of evidence backing it up, and so I'm kind of on the fence if I think it's real or not. The first thing is a supposedly leaked catalog advertisement for Gotchard that talks a lot about the premise of the show. I'm not going to read the entire thing because it's fairly long, but the summary is Gotchard takes place in a setting where a trading card game called Battle Soul has just taken off and become this huge thing in the city where the show takes place. Like, the city has basically became a setting for a Yu-Gi-Oh series. Everybody and their grandmother is playing this card game. Everyone that is except for our main protagonist who according to this thing I'm reading now his name is Kazutoba. I, I think elsewhere I've seen a different name and that may be a translation issue. But anyway this Kazutoba is a complete novice. He's never touched a card game in his life. And then it says one day the voice of the soul came out of the card and a terrifying monster was born. And the monsters for the series according to this are called card buster and basically what happens is the card busters come out of the cards and then they try to put humans back in the cards basically swapping places with them and then it goes on to say that heroes use cards to fight the monsters and that they use different card combinations to defeat different monsters like a game and then it says that the biggest feature of the game is that it uses matching cards multiple comrades use the cards in their hands to construct an equation that allows them to win and then it says something about swapping cards so I'm guessing the writers are going to be able to like trade cards with each other to get different forms and power-ups and it also says that you can just buy cards with money but because it is a trading card game that you know, it's sold in stores, which I'm fairly certain would be a first for the franchise. Like, I know Gaia Memories and Lock Seeds could be bought in those series, but those were treated more like illegal black market stuff rather than something that could be bought in a retail store. Gotchard's final form is going to be a pre-built meta deck that he buys off Amazon. No, wait, that's going to be his super form, and then his final form is going to be when he actually gets good. I bet you he has a villain that's like a pay-to-win type of guy. Sorry, back on topic. Uh, now, there's a couple other rumors that contradict this one in some ways. One is this apparent leak of Gotchard's transformation sound effects. And the only place that I have found this posted is by Dennis on Twitter. Now, I know that Dennis isn't a leaker himself. He is somebody like me who just follows this stuff and posts what he finds. But as you can see here, what he's posted calls Gotchard's base form Steamhopper, whereas the catalog leak, it refers to Gotchard's base form as Hopper Train. And I honestly find Steamhopper to be a more believable name because the train card doesn't actually have the word train anywhere in its name. It's called Steamliner. And so Steamhopper would make more sense as a name combo. And it also just sounds cooler. And then another rumor that I've seen loosely going around Twitter is that the cards are called Rydkami Trading Cards. Uh, basically a combination of the words Rider and Alchemy. Now this one's kind of in a weird spot because there's some people that are claiming that it is from the leaked driver video that was on Billy Billy. Uh, but I've, I've been seeing it posted more separately than with the other posts that have information from that video. So I'm really not sure. But that rumor could contradict the uh, catalog leak that says the game is called Battle Soul. But then again, it may also not because it could be a difference of like the game is called Battle Soul and you play Battle Soul with Ride Kimmy cards. Now then, this next rumor is another toyless leak. Now this one doesn't really have a lot of evidence backing it up. For one thing, it's a pretty unusual toy listing as far as just what's on it. Um, it's not formatted like toy listing leaks usually are, and it's the information on it seems kind of far out, but at the same time, eh, maybe not. And unlike the other toy list we talked about, this one doesn't have anything else on it that has came out already. But unfortunately, none of that really means anything as far as being able to tell if it's real or not. But here we go. Just remember that, you know, I'm not saying any of this is real. I'm just putting you out here for us to be able to discuss. Item number one, 
secondary rival Henshin Blade. And then in parentheses, it says not a rider. So this could mean that Gotchard's secondary is going to be a pseudo rider, uh, sort of like Moshin Chaser from Drive or Night Rogue and the Hell Bros from Build. Basically a character who is a rider in every single way except the name. Of course, it could be that it's like a monster character who just kind of has a more uniform rider-like appearance. Next item is the Gotchard Super Trigger. And on this one, they put in parentheses, Similar to Zero Two Driver. I mean, we can only speculate what that means. I'm guessing that means it slots into the driver and then like puts a cover over the front of it to make it look like a whole different driver. And then with this next item is where we kind of get a bit off the rails. So next item is Third Rider Decayed New Belt. So a number of things this could mean. The most obvious is Decade is coming back as the third rider in Gotchard. Um, I mean, he is due. He comes back like every five years, and it's the 15th anniversary of Decade. Um, now, this could be an AR rider version of Decade. It could just be a Decade themed rider for some reason, because I guess technically this is an anniversary season. It's the 25th anniversary since the franchise rebooted with Kuga. So that is a pretty significant milestone, even though they did just celebrate the franchise's 50th overall with Revice. Now, that being said, anniversary seasons make money. Uh, that's just facts. Oh, and the last item on this listing is a third rider rocket gun, which could be a deep pull decayed reference where he used that in one scene. But uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, that's... Kind of small potatoes compared to the other stuff. But to go along with this, the Iron Hing Toy Store has posted on their Facebook page that Masahiro Inoue, who is Kamen Rider Decade's actor, is returning for Gotchard, specifically to play the third rider. Now, I don't think Iron Hing is a direct source themselves because I have seen them post things and get them wrong in the past. Although now I'm kind of questioning what's been a real post and what hasn't been because this go around, I've been seeing like people make all kinds of posts of like, like, oh, Iron Hing posted this and posted that and then going to check their page and it's not there. And so I don't know if people are making edits and making it look like they posted things or if it's they're posting them, people are screenshotting and then they're deleting later. Like I've seen people post screenshots of Iron Hing's page and it says, oh, Dan Kurato is coming back as the fourth writer for Gotchard and in Gotchard, Decade is going to have a new form that is even uglier than Complete 21 was. And then I go check their actual page, and the only post that's actually there is the one that says Masahiro Inoue, third writer in Gotchard. Like, it's just a little bit weird. Like, uh, is this what gaslighting feels like? Okay, this is a future edit. Uh, I'm checking Iron Hing's page just now to see what's still there. Uh, the Masahiro Inoue post is still there. They've posted about that twice now, so they're apparently pretty confident. Um, and the... Uh, uglier than complete 21 post is still there but uh, anyway to add on to this recently Masahiro Inui had a live stream and when I say recently I mean like within the last 24 48 hours of me recording this because this uh, decayed and gotchard rumor only broke over the weekend and a member of his chat actually asked him hey, I heard a rumor are you going to be in Kamen Rider gotchard and his response was I'll never tell you. So it's one of those things w that we have to look at and say, okay, well, if the answer was no, he would probably just say no, right? Now, that being said, it's possible he's just being cheeky or trying to be funny and mess with people and, like, make them think, like, hey, maybe even though the answer might be no. But also, I mean, if he is in Gotchard, he's likely under a NDA from Toei to not talk about it. So he legally can't admit to it if he is. Now, that being said, uh, you know, since he does come back so frequently, I don't know if this is possible, but he may just have like a standing non-disclosure with Toei to where he can't talk about if he's coming back for future writer stuff or not. And that would be in effect whether he's coming back for Gotchard or not. But he does come 
come back like every five years. Five years after Decade ended, he came back for the final episode of Wizard and the Gaim movie. And then ten years after, he came back for multiple episodes of Geo to where he was practically a recurring character. And Gotchard would be 15 years after. And honestly, as a creative, I can't really see him being okay with his character's final uh, moment being a really unceremonious and somewhat comical death against Domagio. Like, that was just not a proper send-off for his character. And, like, yeah, in the story, Decade is dead currently, but also that was, like, multiple universe resets ago, and on top of that, Decade has other, you know, kind of hack ways of he can be brought back. But I believe that's all the news we have right now. I'm sure as soon as I turn off this recording, something new is going to come out. So just keep your eye on my channel shorts, because that's where I'm going to be posting stuff that's, like, more up-to-date and day-by-day as it comes out. Now, how do I end the video? Uh, okay.